What is up, nerd friends? Welcome back to the Nerd Bench. I've got a brand new multifunction LCD program box pro. We're gonna pop it open and take a look. Ah, there we have it. The all new multifunction LCD program box pro, or what I always call the multifunction LCD program box G3. Uh, we're gonna peel the screen protector off. Ooh, that's nice. So this guy does everything that this guy does, plus it has Bluetooth built right into it. That's right, it has an OTA tuner built into it, so you can use the app with this as well as your favorite compatible speed controls. It does work with all of the XC Run speed controls and the latest generation of the Quick Run G2 speed controls, with the exception of one. Sadly, the WP1080 G2 does not work with this box. I checked before uh, we're doing this video, and I double checked with engineering. There's a possibility that may change later on but for right now not an option on the face you have your scroll wheel that gets you through your menus your save button which sends you to the speed control and then your back button which backs you out of the menus and then this guy it does a downward click as you enter in case you didn't notice on the end you have your speed control connection point most speed controls are going to go through the dedicated programming port or the fan port you use the double-ended harness that uh it comes in here with this double-ended harness. You use that, it's got a, a receiver plug on each end. One side goes into the programming port, the other side goes into here. It is marked with S plus and minus S is for the signal or the white wire. There's also power input if you use this on a speed control, like some of the Platinums and the airplane and boat speed controls, they don't have a BEC, so you can put your input power here. That can be done through an either standalone BEC or a battery pack with one of the JST jumpers on it. And then you also have a Type-C USB port there for doing hard firmware updates using the HW link. Now, this guy, because it has the Bluetooth built into it, you can do all the updates using the app. There's really no need for a computer or anything like that in the long term on this guy. And you are able to, like I said before, interface this via Bluetooth to your compatible speed controls with the HW link app as well. And on the top side, there is a battery checker. This is, you can plug your balance leads in here and check your battery voltage. The negative starts on that side and you plug that guy in there, it pops on and it'll show you individual cell voltages so you can make sure your stuff's balanced or charge state, all that fun stuff. We'll run through some basic functions. Uh, I got the double-ended harness that's included plugged in there. I'm gonna put the other side into the programming port of the speed control. This is connected to a charge battery. This is an XR10 stock spec G3. Turn that guy on, the screen comes on, and we are in. So on our face here, you jump into parameter settings. That'll show the speed control settings inside. A data record will show you the data records that are saved on the speed control itself, if that has, if your speed control has those features, of course. Mode setting allows you to switch between the profiles if your speed control has that, the saving, all that fun stuff. We'll jump in there and take a quick look. You can see your profile switching, import your profiles, and then you can change the name of the files to make them easier as well back out of there and system settings is referring to the actual device itself you can change the language the brightness you can turn the beeps off and you can check your device information as well as reset anything that you may have changed as far as all these presets go uh, so let's jump in and just get you an idea what everything looks like here and again i'm pushing down on the wheel for the enter button to get in there so it shows you the name of the profile and it shows you your first couple settings here you can scroll all the way around it gets all the way down to the bottom and it comes back up to the top you can jump into the settings you can see all the settings that you have available there i like to have reverse on so i'm going to go ahead and turn that on just in case you push save to save the setting and you can back out with the bottom button there so pretty straightforward as far as the lcd functions go We'll get another phone out here and we'll show you the Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, for speed controls that support Bluetooth connectivity, so some of the, like the Quick Run series, they don't support interface with the app, it's not supported. You're only gonna be able to use that as a standalone. But if your speed control already works with the app, you can use this to interface as well. So I'm still connected there. I'm gonna go ahead and link in. I uh, have its, I think I changed the name of this one. Oh no, this is a brand new one. So it's the HW right there. And then your default password's always the same. You can tap that little button so you don't ever have to push the password in again. And then you can get right in there. Now, uh, speed control, it'll be viewed under parameters. It loads the speed control screen there. That's again, uh, only on the speed controls that support operation with the app. This guy, all basic stuff. Back out, uh, firmware updates. You would think that would update the firmware here. This is only for the speed controls itself. So if your speed control needs an update, you can check that in the firmware screen. Data logging allows you to view the data logs that are saved inside of the speed control itself. And down in settings is where we get into the settings of the Bluetooth module. You can change your language. 
they're never change this away from Bluetooth, otherwise it's not gonna work. Settings of the Bluetooth module is where we're gonna get, and if you need to make sure your app is updated, you can do that under About. There's a database version and there's an app version. They're usually posted on the website if you need to know what's up to date, but you can check here and it'll check for you. The phone needs to be connected to the internet for that to work. That's because it needs to check on the website. And then help takes you to the website stuff. We don't need to get into that. But to update the module itself, you go into settings of the Bluetooth module. I always recommend that you change the name of your device so that when you're at the track, uh, it doesn't get mixed up with other folks and you're not going to log on to somebody else's speed control while they're sitting in the pits and change their settings. So that, that can be fun too, I guess. And then once you change the name, it wants you to log back out. We'll jump back in here. There I am. It wants to know my password. I didn't change that. That stays the same. Hit the little dot so that you don't have to hit the number every time. And then we'll get back into settings, settings of the Bluetooth module. And here is where you can check for the firmware update on the module itself. This particular one has been updated, but if it didn't, you'll go down to target version. There'll be a higher number there. And then you'll tap firmware update. It'll tell you to make sure that all the stuff's turned off and all that. Make sure your phone screen doesn't do anything weird. I like to always do this in airplane mode because if something happens during the update, you can brick your unit. The other thing to keep in mind is when that update's running, put your phone in airplane mode so it doesn't get any calls or do anything weird like that. And then keep them, you know, six to 12 inches apart, about a foot, give or take. The Bluetooth connection stuff doesn't like to be right on top of each other. I've seen people set their phone right on the device while it's updating. I've even done it myself just to see what would happen. And it doesn't like it. A lot of times it'll disconnect and do some weird stuff. So that is a look at the multifunction LCD Program Box Pro, or what we call the Program Box G3. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. We also do a podcast. It's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. We give away a free Hobbywing combo each and every episode. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. Once again, it's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. Look it up on your favorite podcast service. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. New every Tuesday, it's The Charlie Show right here on the Hobby Wing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time. <laughs>